Now, what happened in Yemen, and also Islam, so-called Islamic resistance in Iraq. Islamic resistance is just starting now, developing just. They start to develop now and getting maturity. It's clearly, this is no sectarian organization because they have a leadership committee, which is similar to the leadership committee in, in Yemen, which is established during the Yemen war between Houthi, Salafi, Shafi'i, and other school of thought in Yemen. Even possibly uh, tribal chieftains, as well, without a specific Islamic color, uh, that's similar to the Islamic resistance in Iraq. So this is a very significant. One. So we, the sectarian factor is out because we have in these groups we have some parts of the Hashid Shabi Halish. We have uh, we have uh, other Shia groups which were not part of Halish. We have uh, Sufi groups and we have other Sunni groups. So it's clear that we are dealing here with a wider. Uh, uh, with, with the wider section of the Iraqi population with various ideologies and madhab. That's number one. Secondly, they seem to be more or less in conflict with their own government, which is, but their own government is, is, is in a problematic situation because the, the Iraqi government is, a, is an American created government and the people in power now are essentially American puppets. Uh, I don't know how much the, the depth they have in the population, how much power they have. They are living on them, really. Their survival and life is in, the, in, in, in America's hand. Some of them may be, be under duress for that, but whatever it is, they are not independent, are not having independent capabilities and possibility uh, to take any decision. But clearly, they are not very friendly with with uh, with this Islamic resistance. From Islamic resistance still developing slowly, so uh, they. The, but but uh, the, the, that slow development is 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 very remarkable. For example, it's now well established that they have uh, they have launched uh, ballistic and other long range uh, drones and so on against Israel, both Iraq, but also Haifa, and they scored a hit on Haifa refinery, uh, which led to to an explosion and considerable damage there. All the Israelis are covering that with going to a great extent of covering up for them. So that shows that we are dealing with some people who are not listening to Iran or not motivated or not bothering what Iran does 